Okay class, we're here in the greenhouse looking to analyze a experiment we started earlier in the semester where we took uh, six different soils, got them analyzed. You will see the soil analysis from Kinsey Agriculture Services uh, this week posted in Blackboard. The six soils are behind me and I originally in the first video told you, I think I told you I started Swiss chard. Well, the Swiss chard didn't germinate after a week and a half. I came back in and added bok choy. I figured it would grow the uh, same way. It's kind of like a cabbage type plant and it would grow easy in these cool greenhouse temperatures. So let's take a look here at the results. Again, we added, uh, this is the experiment where we added the peat moss, we added the um, mycorrhizae, we added the fertilizer. We did nothing. Um, so let's, let's take a look. <clears throat> okay, so as you can clearly see from a distance here, I'll use this as a pointer. The soils here, okay, just to back up here for a second, each soil in this line, in this plane, represents a different type of soil. Different type of soil that was sent in from around the state. I'll give you those locations when I provide the soil analysis. Okay, in these directions here, we did a treatment. So starting on this side, this was the control. Nothing was done. So you can see in the control, there are different levels that the soil facilitated uh, plant growth without any other additions. And so what we'll be doing is, we'll be looking at the different soils. For instance, this soil is Haller. So across this line is Haller. And as I look down, Haller compared to soil from the Chino Organic Garden, the difference is like twofold. And so there must be something related to the Haller soil that we'll see in analysis that is making this plant grow better than this one. So as we go down this line, you see plants that are mostly in the, um, so for instance, we have a plant here that's about five or six centimeters tall. We have these plants that are maybe three to four at the most. Uh, you work your way down and then you get into this type of scenario. Plants that are clearly um, maybe two centimeters tall and then some more average size growth here. But just in the different soils you can see six different levels of plant growth and this year so far we've um, discussed texture and how that related to plant growth and now uh, we're looking at specific soil um, quality and as we saw from texture it wasn't a huge um, discrepancy between the different textures what really was the result was nutrients and so in this um, in this one we did the mycorrhizae and so as you look down I compare this mycorrhizae on the same soil one with one without um, I do notice a bit of a darker green coloration but it's as far as plant growth goes here, um, the Rooter's Mycorrhizae didn't make that much of a difference here in comparison. So as I look down through this, again, you got the, uh, the Haller soil, and again, much, much bigger plant growth. And then in comparison, I guess, if Haller is providing something in this quality of soil um, compared to this one, the Haller soil with the mycorrhizae is, as far as plant growth goes, is a couple centimeters taller than the Haller control. So as you see, some uh, general similarities in the first two soils. The one with the peat moss here, this level ha has peat moss working your way down. I don't see a huge difference in the first three. Um, I think there was plenty of moisture available so the peat moss really didn't uh, help that much for holding in moisture and since I top dressed and just kind of worked into the top I would assume these plants have outgrown the, uh, the uh, benefit of the peat moss. Now we have in the last row we have the one teaspoon of organic fertilizer that also contained the mycorrhizae and so when you look at these plants at the edge you see consistent 
uh, good growth. Even the haller, the plants haller that are in this line that are much better just based on the soil quality starting out. Uh, things are pretty much evened out when you compare these. These plants are easily uh, 10 to 11 centimeters tall, uh, consistent um, 10 centimeters tall across. And if I pan back just a little bit, you can clearly see the right hand side here is all the one teaspoon mycorrhizae and nutrients and then everything else kind of seems to be a wash except for the howler soil moving across you can see a distinct uh, benefit to um, to the from that soil specifically so now the big trick is to go look at the soils do a little comparison and make some decisions uh, on uh, critical thinking okay thank you